Hey everybody. All right, now we've got a, uh, a new task for us today. We want to create a tool. We want to be able to uh, make some kind of a tool for the end of our robot from a CAD file, maybe from SolidWorks, and uh, you can create it and then save it as an SAT file. Now remember when you do create it in SolidWorks, uh, make the origin of the tool right at the base of the tool and make the z-axis going right up into the tool and that way it's going to move into a, a robot studio much better. Now we're going to take this and we're going to import this uh, SAT file into robot studio and then we're going to turn it into a tool which is a special kind of a, a library component that will have a tool center point and the tool center point is the action end of the tool. So we're going to have to look at this. Now, you, you got to remember that when you create a tool in the geometry, it's, it's no longer going to be editable within the tool. So once we make the tool, the geometry is not editable anymore. It's fixed. It's, uh, you can export the geometry from the tool. However, it's really good practice to make a copy and then export the geometry uh, to a file before you create a tool. So, all right. First thing we want to do is let's just open up a uh, solution with an empty station. So I'm going to you can call it whatever you want and we'll open up the uh, solution with the empty station and click on create. Now let's put a robot in there. Uh, I always go for the IRB 1600. Of course you'll you'll use your <coughs> IRB 140 when you're doing your actual tool but follow along we'll just use a 1600 for now and we'll click on OK and there's the robot. Now you notice of course the robot always gets plunked right down in the uh, world coordinate system right at zero zero zero. Um, that should be no problem. Now in, in the uh, next thing we want to do is we want to bring in a tool. So if you go to uh, import geometry this is going to be our new tool. We're going to browse around and let's go to our Let's go to our uh, courseware uh, geometry and we're going to look for something called a spin tech tool. And there is a spin tech tool right there. Click on that and open it up. And you notice it also dropped right at the um, world coordinate system 000, right in the middle of the robot. So it's sort of hard to see right now. So let's make the robot invisible. Click on the robot, right click, and we'll click on the visible tab right there and now we can see just the tool. All right. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to create a reference frame. So, you know, we have all kinds of frames in our in our uh, robot studio to work with user system, user frames, the the uh, world frame, the object frame, that and we're going to look at tool frames. And we're going to create a new tool frame called the tool center point. But first of all, we just have to create a, a generic user frame. Now to do that, you got to kind of move around and zoom into the tip of your tool so you can see the end of it. You can see that little circular part at the end of your tool right there. Okay, that's just work around until you get that view on your system. If you can see your tip clearly, the next thing we want to do is we want to create frame. So to create a frame, we're going to go back to the home tab and we're going to, oops, sorry, going to go back to the home tab and we're going to click on frame, create frame. And uh, in this particular place, we're going to, we're going to choose the frame position. So we're going to modify the frame position. We're going to modify it on a surface and we're going to snap to center. So make sure you're in the frame position and then snapped. Since it's snapped to the center, we see a little a little bubble right there in the center. We'll click on that and we have our frame position. It's fantastic. So now we're going to go to a create button. Now the create button is going to create our frame. Now the frame itself doesn't necessarily, if you look at it, it's not necessarily normal to the surface and that's not the, not the best, most ideal situation. We want to have the z-axis which we can see is not, the blue one is not coming out, the z-axis should be coming straight out the end of the tool. So all we have to do there is, uh, let's see, we'll create the tool. Oops, we created the second one. I'll delete that second one. We'll go back to the first, first frame and we're going to set normal to surface. 
Okay, and uh, it's going to say which surface or which part do you want to set it normal to? Well, just click on that surface right there. It's the face of the SpinTech tool, and we want the z-axis to be normal to the surface. We don't want any kind of an offset or anything like that. We just apply it. Okay, and now you'll notice the blue line, the z-axis, is going straight into the face of our tool. And that's perfect. So now we can close that and we're all set. Okay, so we now have, we now have uh, an object, our, our spin tech tool, and we have a coordinate system called frame 1, which is set up right on the tip. Let's turn this thing into a tool. So to create the tool, what we're going to do is move to the tool wizard. So if you click on the modeling tab, and you go to the create tool wizard right here, you're going you're gonna to see it's going to ask you for information. Uh, and I'm going to call it uh, Craig's new tool. And we're not going to make a dummy. We're going to use an existing tool. So let's use our SpinTech tool. Obviously, that's the best choice. That's the only object out there that's toolable. OK, now the tool has to have some kind of a mass. And let's just say we weigh in it at a chunky 3 kilograms. OK, next thing we want to have is a center of gravity, uh, the center of gravity right here. So we'll click on this, um, this field right here for the center of gravity and then just click on the body of the uh, the part in your view window and now you can see it's it knows what body we're talking about and it's created in a center of gravity which is great now we're going to click on the next button what are we going to call the tool center point well this is going to be it's this is going to make uh, reference you're going to make reference to your tool center point when you do your rapid programming so uh, we want everyone to know this is a tool center point so I'm going to call it TCP Craig's new tool and um, so we're on the right track. Now we want to give it a target frame and we're going to make it frame one. That's the frame that we set up over here that is now sitting in the end of our tool. That's frame one right there. So we're going to call it frame one and uh, then we're going to take this TCP information and we're going to move it over into the TCP window. Good. It's there now so I'm happy with that. So once I'm done with the TCP, I can say done. And now you look over here, what used to be a geometry is now a tool, Craig's new tool. So you can see it right here. And um, since this new tool has got its own geometry, it's got its own TCP on it, this frame that I built earlier on, I don't need anymore. This is, it's not necessary. I already have the frame on my tool, so I can delete that frame. See, you can see the tool center point is still sitting there on the end of the tool. Okay, now at this point we want to take our tool that we've created and put it on the end of the robot. But before, it, before we put it on the robot, let's save the tool to our library so we can bring it up later on and use it. So to do that, we're going to go home and uh, in, the, in the layout browser, we're going to click on this tool, right click and say save as library and here I'm gonna to go to my own personal um, documents robot studio um, and libraries and I already have Craig SpinTech tool here well this is that was my practice one and here's Craig's new tool so I'm gonna save that there and now my tool is saved in the library and I can bring it into future um, robot models and and use it again Okay, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to attaching this tool to the end of the robot. Well, I'm going to go to my robot and I'm going to say visible, so our robot is now visible, and the tool, of course, is buried at the base of it. I'm going to take Craig's new tool and I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to drop it on the robot. It says, "Do you want to update the position of the of the tool?" You say yes, and now you can see I've got this beautiful new tool attached on the end of the robot. So. That's uh, how you create a tool, and uh, how you how you managed to make a tool center point for it. And that's the end of this little talk. Okay, see you next time.